Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thank you for joining me today. I am so excited to be using this box. This is the Earthen Serenity Treasure Bead Box from Potomac Beads. And I unboxed this prior to going on our little trip down to Disneyland. And oh my goodness, just thinking about these seed beads, the colors and these chunk monks and these little square beads and thinking about even the bead mix and so many possibilities for this box. And that's only just a few items. That's just a handful of items from this entire box. So what we're going to do today is we are going to make a necklace and maybe two because I think I want to use these daggers. I think I want to use these little guys with it too. But what I'm going to do is I want to use a couple or actually one of this Sunset AB. This is check faceted round. They're 14 millimeters. We're going to use one. Then I am going to use some of these 8-0 seed beads. These are translucent, translucent slate, and I am in love with this color. And then we're also going to use be using some Jet Antique Gold Cubes. And my idea for this is to use maybe, so to do kind of like this maybe three on each side because I just want a short necklace and then we'll still have enough to maybe make a pair of earrings or another necklace and then what we're going to do is we're going to put seed beads in between and I thought of using some bead caps but I don't want to hide that bead it's just so pretty so we're going to use some medium. This is Champagne Soft Flex, and this is from their outlet. And the reason why is because it turned out being a little bit rose gold-ish. And so they didn't feel like, here's what champagne is, and this is how it turned out. But I love it, so I bought a ton of it. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be using. I am going to go ahead and first... I'm gonna work from the spool so that I have minimal waste. I'm sort of gonna be working from the middle. And here's what I'm gonna do, is I know that I'm gonna be finishing off much of the necklace with seed beads. I'll be finishing most of it off with seed beads. We're gonna make maybe a 16 inch necklace. And then we will have Seed beads in between these gorgeous cubes. And I think that's all I'm gonna put on there and just make it very simple, I think. So then I would grab one of these. And I think I'm gonna put maybe 10 in between. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight, because I don't want it to be too long. So we will do eight in between. Oh, I think eight's going to be perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I love these projects where I am just going to be stringing along and I find it to be very therapeutic. And here's why. This isn't my first project from this bead box. Yes, I'm going to confess. I have another one sitting in the box right now. I'm not completely happy with it. Have you ever made something that you were just, you couldn't wait to make and you start putting it together and you're just not, you're just not feeling it. And that's the way I am with my other project. There's just something missing and I don't know what it is, but something is just missing from it. And again, I 
just don't know. And I, I will figure it out. And when I do, I will record another video because this box is so packed that I know that I'm going to have more projects. And yes, I know I say that every single month and then the whole month just gets away from me. That's usually what happens. Actually, it is what happens. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, I love it. I was going to wire wrap this and then I decided not to. I thought, no, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it just like that. And Oh, I love it. Mm, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now let me see how many I had here on this side. Two, four, there's five, there's ten. That's right. So we're going to put in another ten. So I just, I wasn't feeling it. And it's hard for me to record. And then I kept on messing up on the recording. I was getting phone calls and I was forgetting to hit the record again. So then I took it apart and started all over and I just, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. It has nothing to do with beads, nothing whatsoever. It was just my mindset and I just, I don't I couldn't do it. And so now here I am. Okay. So I added another 10 and what I do is when I'm adding more, I will usually I will usually go in 10 increments of 10 and we'll add a bead for every 10 that I add so that I know how many, so I can make sure I want it even. Now let me see how long this is so far. Okay, I have a ways to go. Um, yeah, so if I'm just not feeling something, I have a hard time recording and I find that that's the projects and the recordings that I have a hard time with is when my heart's just not in it and it has nothing to do with the beads. It could be that I'm thinking of something else or what I was thinking is actually not translating, which is normally what happens. But I, this is something that I need to, what I'm making right now is something I need. And again, I am making for me or I make for gifts. I will give gifts away and will give gifts away. You know, there's always someone that is in need of a good little gift. So this one here is for me. And maybe that's why I'm really into it. I know it's for me, but I normally give stuff out. I'll give them as gifts or I have tons of pieces behind me. I really do. You can't see what's behind me, but I have a lot. Okay, so there's that one and then we need to add one more. I have a ton. And a lot of what I've made here also too is from where I saw someone else's design and thought, oh, I am going to make it. And so I will make that design. And then I'm not going to sell it or anything. Many times it's just going to be me wearing it myself. Or like I said, I'll give it away. So then what I do is you saw that I picked one up. And I know that when I pick one up, that I'm going to have three, four, that I'm going to need to, now I miscounted. Oh, there it is. Yep, that's right. So then I know that I need to pick up one and then nine more. So that's why I do it this way. I would love to make a great square. Is it square stitch? It's not peyote. I think it's called square stitch. And I would love to make a bracelet and then add some embellishments. 
Wouldn't that be pretty? So it's been a long week. We were gone and it's just, it's been a long week, even though we've only been home a couple of days. Getting caught up and yeah, getting caught up is always the hardest. And it's going to be a late night again. And I, I enjoy the late nights. I'm a night owl. I don't know about any of you guys. You know what? Someone just told me they were a night owl. I can't remember who told me. Maybe it was um, one of the comments on another video, which I appreciate. I cannot thank you guys enough for your comments. I can always count on some good comments to really, really make my day. And you guys really do. Okay, so now let's see how much I have here. Oh, I have a little too much. Well, maybe not enough. Wait, hold on. Now this is perfect. <laughs> this is the perfect length. I love it. It sits right um, right at my throat, and that's what I was wanting. Okay, let's grab, let's grab some crimp tubes. Let me go and grab, I need to grab some wire guards and wire guardians. And what else do I need to grab? I need to grab some... Oh, a lobster clasp and some jump rings. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to grab some wire guardians. I think I have some. I do have some gold in here. That's my little container for those. Then let's grab a lobster clasp or cloth. I'm not sure which one they're called. And then let's grab closed jump ring and an open jump ring and I'm going to keep these out because I'm going to make I think I'm going to make a necklace for those too all right so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add my crimp tube, add my wire guardian, and slip that through the other side. I have so much fun making videos. I do not like to present, so, you know, the conference that I was at a couple weeks ago, I was presenter and I am just not a presenter. I don't like to present. I don't like getting up and talking in front of people. All I'm doing is bringing those together and I bring them together not for anything except for so I don't have that jump ring kind of rolling around there on the wire. And I'm gonna use some magical crimpers Get that. And then I love the magical crimpers because I end up with that bead like finish that is so pretty. If I don't massacre it, which I've done several times. But so you have that nice bead like finish. You don't need a crimp cover ever. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and come in right next to that bead. Oh, here I called it a bead, it's a crimp. Okay. And then I'm gonna keep my necklace like this so that I don't make it so tight. And then this one is the closed. I think this one's the open. I messed up, I didn't track of which one was open and which one was closed and you cannot tell with these 
at all. So I just kind of have to do a little bit of wiggling to see if I can see where, if there's a slit. Yep, okay, so there's that one. This one's my closed one. Okay, and I did barely cut off enough. If you don't, if you're not comfortable with having this small amount, um, give yourself a little bit more room. I don't like waste, but then at the same time, I needed some little scrap pieces. And the reason why I save scrap pieces is because I do like using those two by two crimp tubes. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that closed jump ring. I do like using um, the two by two crimp tubes, but on the fine, the fine, um, the fine wire, I can't. So what I do is I save pieces of the medium. I save pieces of the fine too, but I save the pieces so I can add them so that it can bulk up that um, that area. And then this one here, yeah, I think it is okay. I mean, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna keep them like that. Then what I do is I open it up so that I have a little bit more room to work with. The reason why is because I can sometimes massacre up my my wire guardian too okay so let's go ahead and get that in there and you want to make sure you're not on top of your wire guardian nor are you on top of your beads because you will break those beads okay and then so I have that four corners and then make sure you're in the middle again. Make sure you're not on top of a seed bead because you can break them. I'm gonna keep on going around until I feel no tension. And you can see as I'm trying to crimp down, it moves a little and it's because it's not done. It's not done yet. See, it's not a nice bead-like finish yet. And part of it is because I'm in an awkward position. And then also to that closed jump ring on there. But I can feel it getting less tension. Yep, and that's good. There's my bead-like finish. Okay. And then go ahead and come in as close as you can. And then this I will save. And I will use that. This one I won't. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add, add our lobster clasp to the side. You can do an extender if you want. So if you're gonna sell it, then you might wanna add an extender. So if someone wanted to wear it a little bit longer, but this is what I wanted what I needed. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I just love that blue and then this jet gold. And then with that gorgeous chunk of muck. And like I said, I didn't want to put any bead caps. I could have, but I didn't because I didn't want to take away from that bead. I want that bead all by itself. 